Did you know there's an energy crisis? Probably not, because you'd be using too much energy. Clearly, in, in national debate, energy independence, energy sustainability is a huge issue. But what is it that people really understand about these issues and its connection to the environment and, and its connection to global sustainability? So who remembers what a good definition of energy is? Michaela? Uh, isn't it the ability to work? If you look at the research in science education, young people don't understand much about energy. They know that energy is something we need to power, but what exactly does that mean? Where does it come from? How does it connect to how we live our lives? One of the challenges of working with community organizations and running a year-round program that takes place after school is that kids have been sitting in their seats all day long. So you gotta think one of the last things they might really wanna do is more of academic-oriented work. So how could we design it in ways that would keep kids' interest over the course of the year and help them wanna participate? We're doing a unit on supply and demand issues with electricity. We brought in a bicycle that you can use to power lights. We engage them in what we call the physical challenge thinking about what is a watt, how does your own kinetic energy um, translate to electricity, and what does it mean if you have to do it yourself. It's hard. We want them to have an embodied experience, you know, that is very concrete, it's not something that they just read. If every household in the state of Michigan changed just one of these old dinosaur incandescent light bulbs to one compact fluorescent, enough energy could be saved. Believe it or not, it could light the city of Lansing for one entire year. We then really pushed on, so what's your energy usage look like at home? And it really opened up for the kids this idea that we have experienced this, what we were calling the appliance explosion. We have an appliance for everything these days. Well, maybe if you divided it by like um, how many days there are in a year. And does it have an energy star? No, it's not. No. Why? They have too many things plugged in. When we were looking at energy supply and demand issues, we had the students take a quiz on what is your carbon footprint. A carbon footprint is like how much energy each person uses in a day. When we're using too much energy right now, where we can save some of that energy for the future. We have a diversity of, of students in that they go to different schools, they're at different age levels, they've had different science curriculum. So that's all making our discussion of these topics better. They said that global warming's gonna kill us one day. The oceans will become overflowed and there won't be much land mass left for humans to live on. We want to see action that is making their lives and the lives of the people around them better. We have to convince them to like reduce their carbon footprint. Yeah. The kids became really interested in how can we better educate the larger community around some of these issues. And so we began to create a series of public service announcements. Did you know there's an energy crisis? Probably not because you've been using too much energy. WLNS to the television station and they actually showed five of the six. Turn off the lights. Our kids were really interested in not only sort of getting the word out about what they were doing, but trying to figure out what Lansing residents knew. So we started talking with Taylor Hines at the Go Green Go Lansing initiative to say, you know, we really want to do a survey. What if we did it on what people know about your Go Green Go Lansing pledge? The Go Green Initiative is an effort by Mayor Bonero to green the greater Lansing area. And basically that commits the city of Lansing to reducing our overall CO2 emissions 7% below 1990 levels. Having the youth present their findings to the Mayor's Policy Council for Energy I think is a really powerful experience for youth because I think that they can see that the work that they do in science has an end beyond just their learning. Gibbs City designed a 20-question survey which covered the seven key topics, alternative transportation to work and school, the use of CFLs. So we invited the members of the advisory panel so that they could hear what recommendations the students came up with and learn from what the students found. Two-thirds of those who did not have a recycling bin did not know how to get one. We need to get information out to the public more often to increase awareness. I'm particularly interested in your findings about recycling and um, I plan to utilize some of the data that you found out in your survey and, and try to improve on our services. Well, if you really want to make a difference, you got to start with the kids. It's important to give them a voice in the decision-making process. For youth who are living in extreme urban poverty, who are doing this work in an after-school program where they're not even getting school credit, I think it represents a remarkable set of outcomes.